this is an interesting problem using uh, the conditions for equilibrium to solve. In equilibrium, we have two conditions. Uh, there's some of your forces have to be equal to zero and all your net torques also have to be equal to zero. In equilibrium, for the forces, we look in the x direction and there are no forces. So you see the sum of the forces in the x direction are zero. In the y direction, since the diver's weight is going pushing it down, it would be 1,500 newtons going down plus F1 plus F2 have to be equal to zero. When we do the torques, it's convenient to do it from a, a place where we can cancel out one of the torques and one of our variables. So we'll have two equations with just two unknowns and be able to solve very easily. So I put the fulcrum I placed the fulcrum at F1 and calculated my torques, and that would be my diver, which would be, uh, that's a counterclockwise torque, a clockwise torque, excuse me, and clockwise torques are considered to be negative. So that would be minus 1,500 times his distance, four meters from the fulcrum, plus F2 times its distance from the fulcrum 1.5, that has to be equal to zero. Four times 1500 minus 1500 is six minus 6,000 plus 1.5 F2 equals zero. Solving for F2, we get F2 to be 4,000 newtons. And that would be positive 4,000 newtons, meaning it's going upward. Then we use our first condition that the sum of the forces have to be equal to zero in the y direction. Substituting in now our value for F2, 4,000, we find that F1 would be equal to negative 2,500 newtons, which means its force would be directed downward. So F1, 2,500 Newtons downward, F2, 4,000 upward. I hope this solved the problem for you. I enjoyed doing it. Have a great day.